after I finish shooting the video about consumption and all the complicated calculations, I realized something that some of you may be thinking. If I'm supposed to do all these calculations while I'm driving, well, I sh probably shouldn't use my phone, right? Because if you use your phone to do your calculations, then that counts as distracted driving. And yes, I would definitely agree. So I am about to show you a little life hack on what I do to calculate on the fly. Now, chances are most of you would have a smartphone. And be it an iPhone or an Android, you would have some form of a voice assistant. Um, for the iPhone, that would be Siri. For the Androids, that would be Google Assistant. And this is something you can use to help you do the calculation while you're driving. So I really like using Android Auto. And of course, you don't have to be on Android Auto to do voice assistance. You just have to have your phone uh, somewhere where it could hear you. So let me show you how I would calculate what we just did in the consumption video. Let's do that calculation, which we had done in the previous video, um, but this time using Google Assistant. So I am not going to use the OKG OK word, just in case it will trigger your Google Assistant as well. So I will push a button here. What is 32 multiplied by 4.5? The answer is 144. So that's the calculation of 32 kilowatt hours multiplied by the consumption number, which is 4.5 kilometers per kilowatt hour. So this is something you can do in order to calculate on the fly without taking your hands off of the steering wheel. And of course, it's Google, so there are a lot of other things you can ask Google to do for you. So for example, you want to know about wind direction. What is the wind direction in Edmonton? In Edmonton, the wind is currently coming from the east at 8 kilometers per hour. Now you know whether or not you're facing headwind or tailwind. And something else you can do is, well, you can check your elevation difference. Let's see. What is the difference in elevation between Calgary and Edmonton. On the website distancesto.com, they say, elevation of Edmonton is 670 meters or 2,198.16 feet and the elevation of Calgary is 1,048 meters or 3,438.32 feet, which is a difference of 378 meters or 1,240.16 feet. To find out more, look for the link in your Google Home or Google Assistant app. Okay, well that was quite a lot more detailed than I thought it would be, but see, there's a lot of things about calculating numbers, finding information on the fly while you're driving that you can do using any voice assistant. I hope you enjoyed this video on a quick little life hack where you can use your voice assistant to calculate anything for you on the fly. As long as you have internet connection, this should work just fine. Consider subscribing to our channel for more electric vehicle content. And as always, I am Solomon. See you on the next one.